Congressman, I'm Andy McFarland, and I'd like to welcome you to The Week on Absolute Michigan. The Week is brought to you in part by Lelanau.com, who invite you to visit their website at www.lelanau.com slash webdesign to see some of their web and marketing work for Michigan businesses, organizations, and sites like Absolute Michigan. Well, January is book month on Absolute Michigan, and we started off by taking a look at Michigan's 2008 notable books. Each year, the Library of Michigan selects 20 books that highlight Michigan people, places, and events. This week, we began with Diane Maddox's look at Midland architect Alden B. Dow. The book is published by the Alden B. Dow Home and Studio in Midland and celebrates the architect's design and philosophy through words and pictures. We also took a look at Connecting the Dots, a book that seeks to explore Detroit artist Tyree Guyton's Heidelberg Project. For more on the Heidelberg Project, we found a video on YouTube from the Joyce Foundation with Tyree Guyton himself. I, you know, I just woke up one morning and I said, I want to take this as far as I can take it, you know, and, you know, if you just look back here, you can just see dots, and all back here, dots, down this main thoroughfare, dots. Well, the Heidelberg Project is a outdoor art environment. It's a uh, street located on the east side of Detroit uh, that I took over and transformed in 1985. The Heidelberg Project is in an area where 75% of the people are either in or just above the poverty level. I'm talking about an area that was once a um, war zone. And I remember when I came back home in 1985 from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I was looking at blight, I was looking at the bandit structures and uh, a broken down neighborhood. And what was remarkable was that also I saw the people and realizing that what was missing was giving the young people a chance to express themselves through art. This week, we passed two notable milestones in our Absolute Michigan group on Flickr. The 900th member joined our group, and later in the week, the 25,000th photo was added to the group. When we started the group two years ago, I don't think we had any idea what an impact it would have on Absolute Michigan. And I'd like to extend our heartfelt thanks to every one of you for sharing your photos and love of Michigan with us. You're a huge part of Absolute Michigan, and we're so happy and honored to work with you. The week also saw Southern Michigan's fourth largest single-day snowfall ever, as 16 inches fell on January 1st. While we're still seeking to know what the largest one-day snowfall in Michigan history is, we can tell you that the D Detroit News reported that the biggest southern Michigan snowfall ever was 24 and a half inches on April 6, 1886. Next week, we'll feature some of Michigan's famous authors, and we'll also take a look at some of the great local bookstores from all over the state. For the week, I'm Andy McFarland saying thanks for tuning in to Absolute Michigan. We'll take you out now with Pass Away from the Harvestman, along with some photos from the Absolute Michigan pool. As always, you can add your photos to our group on Flickr and also your videos to our group on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Jesus.
seasons change. 